She gonna ask you where you got it from. And next thing you know, she's got a reason to talk to you again. And you have left your mark on him and his family. You're welcome. Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, my name is Joe, and I'm a content creator between all things beauty, lifestyle, and fitness, as you guys seen from the intro. Before we get into these fragrances, I want to let you guys know a few things. So first is the websites that I actually like to get my fragrances from. So um, I really like to, you know, get the bang for my book, you know, because we're bougie on a budget. And Rebel Sense is one of my favorite sites that I've been getting fragrances from for months now. I actually have a video about them already that I will link below for you guys if you want to watch that. So Rebel Sense is a website where you can go and you fill out a quiz and you just answer the few questions that ask a little bit about your style, stuff that you like to do, things that you like, you know, just in general to kind of give you good recommendations at the end of fragrances that you may like. If you are new to wanting to wear fragrances, I really, really suggest taking the quiz because it really does help you kind of like decide what you do or what you don't like. So really like that. And they always have really, really good prices and they're just like crazy affordable when you compare them to the regular prices of the perfume versus what they are on that website. And it is Black Friday, so you guys know they have some really good deals going on right now. So make sure that if you guys like any of the things I show you to click the links below and, you know, save you some money, buy it for yourself, buy it for somebody for Christmas, do what you got to do. So the next website is the Micro Perfume website. Um, it's actually a website that I just found, but some fragrances even on Rebel Sense are still extremely expensive. So if it's something that you really want to try but you haven't smelt it yet and you kind of want to just test it out, they have really, really, really affordable samples and travel sizes of some fragrances so that you guys can get them and at least get it like a good 10 plus wears out of the travel ones to see if you really like it on your skin and how you feel about it. So now that we're past the websites, I want to go over the difference between a perfume and a toilette or it's actually pronounced like toilet in English, which is hideous. Um, so toilette means like the oils in the perfume is watered down. So it's like, um, it's just a softer watered down version of the fragrance. And then perfume means that there is more oils in the fragrance, which means it is stronger at first and is actually longer lasting because the more oils in it on your skin, the slower it breaks down throughout the day. So when I say that about some of these fragrances, when I start talking, you guys are going to understand what I'm talking about. So normally I'm more big on perfumes actually, but um, sometimes I just think that the toilette actually smells better. Also, you guys will see that I have all the scent notes of each fragrance that I show you popping up on the screen just to kind of cut down some talk time. And I'm just going to tell you about how each of these fragrances make me feel when I would wear them, what they would remind me of, etc. Um, my personal opinion and why I love them so much. The reason I put fall and winter together is because honestly, to me, it can be worn either way, but I am going to show you guys which ones I would wear more in the kind of like fall time when it's not too cold, but not too like warm. And then like the ones that I would definitely wear only if it was winter time. First, we're going to be talking about the Gucci bamboo. This is actually the toilette version. I think the perfume version of this smells awful. I don't like anything about it. Don't know why. I just absolutely hate it. It's just it's gross to me. I just don't like it. This is considered a woody floral. Um, and to me, it just, it just smells so clean. It's like a very clean, pretty fragrance. Um, it definitely to me is more of a daytime fragrance, but it also like, it's very like a sophisticated smell too, if that makes sense. Um, it's a white musk and I've just noticed that the white musk seem to be like just perfect to my nose when I smell them. I just love it so much. Alicia actually really loves this perfume a lot. Um, this is a three ounce bottle, I think. Yeah, um, this is actually a really big bottle. And this was the first fragrance that I bought in a three ounce, guys. And I realize now that a 1.6 ounce is a perfect amount of fragrance because I use this constantly. Alicia uses it a lot and I've had it for over a year and I still have yet to even get halfway. So the three ounce bottles to me just seem like you're kind of like wasting your money because you don't need that much of that perfume I feel like if you get tired of it or maybe if you don't like it because I'm pretty sure after a year I think it's 12 to 18 months perfume start to break down anyways so this is actually a very big bottle but this is definitely something I would wear to um you know I wear to lunch actually it gives me heavy um 
like interview vibes like if i wanted to go somewhere for an interview or i wear it to work a lot especially like i said during the day and it's just it's a really just pretty clean fragrance but it also smells very sophisticated as well so we love that one okay definitely more fall so this next fragrance guys i want to smell it before i show it to you i love every single thing about this fragrance so this is the boss babe by jilly Anise, if you don't know who that is, she is a big time influencer, fitness guru girl on social media and she is just, everything about her is bomb. And when she came out with this perfume and I had seen people raving about the reviews about it, like they had 500 plus reviews in less than like a week. I was like, I have to have this. Let me see what it smells like. And guys, it is a warm and sweet gourmand. Okay, so the word gourmand means basically an edible scent. So anything that's got like coffee, honey, vanilla, caramel. Those are edible scents and that's literally what this smells like guys. It's heavy on the vanilla and the caramel and it's just, it is so, so sexy. Um, and it still is somewhat of a like white musk as well as what it has in the notes as you guys seen. And it just is very like, this is 100% date night. This is date night. This is what you want to wear if you're going out with your man or just with a first date in general. If you want him to literally like basically want him to be like all over you girl, this is the fragrance. It smells so good. Um, I've wore the crap out of it. I'm actually going to wear this tonight because I'm going somewhere and this is the fragrance. As soon as I put this outfit on, I was like, oh, that, that's easy. I'm wearing the Boss Babe. And the Boss Babe is the perfect name for it. Like, I cannot get enough of this one. It's just so sexy and sweet. Like. It's perfect. It is literally one of my favorite fragrances and it is definitely to me very nighttime because like I said date night it's giving very very nighttime vibes and the colder it is outside I know this sounds weird the better this smells to me the better because like I just feel like the warmer months you know people want to smell things like I said that are sweet and like edible so this is probably as close to an edible fragrance as I get because I don't like things that are like so like fruit or like really really sweet desserts normally i mean obviously vanilla is every basic bitch's favorite scent but this one's definitely giving caramel more than vanilla but love it i love this so much okay so next i have for you guys the element edition pearl this is actually a very very cheap slash affordable fragrance and i showed you guys this in my last um holiday gift giving christmas pretty sure video and Guys, this smells so, so good. So this is also a perfume, which means it's heavy in oils. And every time I wear this perfume, I don't wear it often because I feel like I wore it so much last season that now like I feel like I don't reach for it as much, but it's literally almost halfway empty. Every time I wear it, literally anybody that comes near me or hugs me is like, what are you wearing? I need to know what that is. And I'm always mind blown to be like, y'all got this literally at Ross, but it is also on Amazon and I think actually available on Walmart online. Um, I have it linked below though, whichever one's the cheapest. But it also is just, it's, I don't know, it just smells so good. And I can't even tell you what it smells like. I mean, obviously it's, it's, a, it's some kind of a musk, which like I said, it's actually called a skin musk. Which means that this lets me know that this is definitely really made to be worn more on like your skin, like around your elbow area, behind your knees, or around your neck, behind your ear, um, so that these oils can really mix with your skin um, versus on your clothes. So this is something I would definitely wear if I had like an open chest um, shirt like this or a dress, like something all over me, and then maybe like just a little bit on the top of my shirt. But this is definitely, like I said, if it's a skin musk, then you want to literally wear it on your skin because it's going to give you the best scent possible. Um, love this fragrance definitely a great 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 scent for the winter um i also you could get away with this a day or night to be honest um i'm trying to think of another way to explain it i was literally smelling it earlier before i started this video and i was like how can i explain this scent and i just don't have words for it it just smells so like i want it like you want it you want to know what it is you want to know where it come from and the name pearl um it's giving very classy vibes. It does give a very classy scent. It's very like, just, I don't know, just a pretty, just the pretty classy lady scent. Like it just makes you literally want to rub it all over you. Honestly, if they had an lotion, I'd buy them that too. So this next scent is literally now one of my favorites. And I'm going to tell you guys why it's one of my favorites and what it reminds me of. So this is the Delice Nacre fragrance. I actually did 
get this as one of my very first ever perfumes from Rebel Scents. And at first I thought it was too sweet for me and now I'm literally obsessed with it. So I maybe wore this fragrance like once. And the best thing about fragrances, guys, is fragrances is like, imagine if you're meeting someone for the first time or hanging out with them for the first time and you are trying to leave a memory. You are imprinting your memory on somebody else. That is what a fragrance does. Think about when you were younger and like your mom would wear something all the time. And now that you're older, when you smell it, she instantly comes to your mind without a question of the doubt. You're like, my mom wears that. That is the same thing you're doing with your fragrances. When someone smells that on you, they're going to think about you. So if you're trying to make somebody remember you, that's what you want to do. And that's what this fragrance has done for me. Um, you guys met Kennedy in one of my vlogs. Her mom smells exactly like this perfume. This isn't even the perfume she wears, but whatever she is wearing is definitely either mimicked from this or this is mimicked from the perfume she's wearing because it smells just like her. And I absolutely love her mother and she's just so classy and sweet and elegant. So now every time I spray this fragrance on me, that's what it makes me think of. And it's such a, oh, such a good scent. Like I just can't like get enough of it. Like I just want to. So this is a musky floral shocker right like all of these at this point got some kind of floral in them and this is a perfume which you can smell it's perfume it's very strong like without even being sprayed i haven't sprayed it in forever and you can smell it and the aesthetic of it is gorgeous i love the white like milky look to this bottle like just sitting in the little perfume tray just it's just it makes you want to grab it and i hate that because sometimes when a fragrance has a pretty packaging it makes you really just want to grab it and sometimes just because they look good does not mean it smells good girl don't don't fall for that but not this one. This one definitely is totally worth the scent. Um, like I said, it's giving heavy sweet. And as you guys seen from the keynotes, I don't know. I guess maybe it's the white rose. But it's just literally, it smells so, so grown and sexy. Like, it's just giving such grown vibes in so many ways. Like, I would want to wear this to meet somebody's mom for the first time. If you are going to meet the parents... Get this and put it on you. You want to why? Because when mama smells this on you, when she gives you, bye, give me a hug. It was so nice to meet you. She wants to know what this is. You know what that means? She's going to ask you where you got it from. And next thing you know, she's got a reason to talk to you again. And you have left your mark on him and his family. You're welcome. Glad I could do that for you. That's the scent. That is what the scent is for. And also date night. Heavy date night vibes as well. Like I said, very sexy. It definitely gives me very, like when I smell it, it makes me want to wear a sweater and a jacket and a scarf and go outside like that's how strong of winter it is to me definitely definitely perfect for the really really cold days i love this fragrance and at first when i smelled it like i said i was like mm, it's a little too sweet for me no 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 it is beautiful it's gorgeous and like i said reminds me of kennedy's mom so it's bomb this fragrance the next one is just <sighs> This fragrance is not everybody's cup of tea. So this is the Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. I love the bottle of this. Um, just the the black writing alone on it with the glass finish, it's square. Y'all know I love anything square. I'm not really a round bitch, as you can clearly see. Actually, almost all of these are like that. <laughs> but this one is absolutely amazing to me. This is a sweet and spicy gourmand. This is warm and sweet gourmand. So that means that this is, like I said, the vanilla and it's very warm and like I said sexy this is actually got some um, spice to it and as you guys seen in the notes it's got vanilla in it but it's also got coffee now when I smell this fragrance I do not really smell vanilla at all I actually do get heavy coffee vibes from it I'm not even gonna lie but it's like a sexy coffee does that make any sense to you like mmm I don't even know um, it's also got iris in it and I feel like I smell that too but this is definitely, this is only a nighttime scent. I would not wear this during the day at all. None. Um, and I'm telling you guys right now, it's just not, it, nothing about this is giving daytime. It's just completely nighttime to me. Um, and I feel like if you could smell it through your nose right now, you'd also agree with me. But this smells so good on the skin. When I first got it, I was like, I love the smell of this. But what if it's not everybody else's cup of tea? What if nobody likes it? I wore it to work one time. And the girls went nuts over it. They were like, what is that? What is that? It smells so good. But it's very, very um, strong to me. So you don't need a lot of this. Um, I would buy the smallest bottle because it is so strong because you're not going to use a lot of it. But it is giving very much like, if you want to smell different, if you don't want anybody else to smell like you, if you want to be literally the only one, this is the fragrance for you. 
I promise you nobody else around you is probably wearing this and I promise you very few people have heard of it because like I said when you first smell it it's not everybody's cup of tea it's probably not going to attract really anybody I think I let Alicia smell it when I first brought it home and she was like mm, I don't know how I feel about it and now when I wear it she loves it and then she wears it sometimes too so the only one was the perfect name for this fragrance um really really like the gourmands um I just love I love how they smell I feel like I never thought that Fragrances and food would go good together, but jokes on me, I guess. It's kind of the same thing as a candle. Candles have a heavy food scents as well. So, the last fragrance I'm going to show you guys. Um, this is very popular. This has been around for a few years. This is a unisex fragrance. Every time a man or a woman smells me, they're obsessed with it. This is very expensive, you guys. This is the most expensive fragrance, which is why I saved it for last. Um, this is the travel size that I have it in, and I wore the shit out of this perfume. Like, and I can't even explain it to you. This is a woody floral as well. And it's definitely giving heavy unisex vibes, but it is such a, it's such a dominant fragrance that it's very hard to be topped. Um, it doesn't give me any type of spring or summer vibes whatsoever. I definitely would only wear this in the winter or the fall as well. Probably more winter. Don't even know if I'd wear it in fall actually at all because it's such a, like I said, it's a dominant fragrance. It's literally... It counteracts any type of lotion or anything that I'm wearing. It's definitely right there. You can tell. Um, this is the Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, just the name alone sounds expensive. And trust me, it's definitely expensive. As you guys seen from the notes, um, I've realized that almost anything that I really wear that has jasmine in it, I seem to really be obsessed with. So, this perfume though, I got the travel size to make sure that I liked it because, like I said, it is very expensive. Um, if somebody were to buy you this for Christmas, you should give them a big old hug and a kiss on the cheek because it's ridiculously expensive. Um, but this is also a very memorable fragrance as well, just like the only one. That's why I saved them for last. If you want to wear something that most likely nobody else around you is wearing and you don't want to smell like anybody else, this is also the perfume for you so that you can just stand out and be like, ooh, who is that? Who is that? Because like I said, it's very dominant. It's very, you know, boss bitch vibes. Like nobody else can be probably wearing this around you. And that's just, it is what it is. So, oh, I love it so much. Like I said, I'm, it's gone. It's gone. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And hopefully, maybe you like the sound of one of these fragrances and want to pick it up for yourself. Like I said, they are linked below. And every time you guys click those links, I can see how many clicks I get. I can see how many purchases. And it definitely does give me some commission. So, I really, really appreciate when you guys take the time to go to the description box and check those links through me and not just go through the web. So, thank you so much for that. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, you might as well like it because you should have already done that anyways. And subscribe to the channel because I have more good content coming. Um, I haven't done a sit down video in a while. And this video, I've literally been researching these fragrances, like taking my time to really pick out which ones I would want to bring to you guys this winter season. So these are my top six. I love them so, so much. I've literally worn the crap out of all of them. My favorite out of all of them that I showed you is definitely going to be this boss babe and the only one just because like I said this is so sexy and sweet and it just makes people I feel like want to come near you and be like mm, all over you and this one is just like I said it's just this is gonna make people want to be like what is this who are you where did you get that so both of these are like that girl I love these so much so definitely if you are into anything sweet and like just different Definitely try these out or the Baccarat. But like I said, the Baccarat is just so expensive. So it's definitely probably not everybody's first choice. But I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. If you have any questions or anything, please comment below. Make sure to like, share, all that good stuff with this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, loves.